you know, with the few little interactions that we've had with people, just performing, talking to them, I've just been learning more about how the, the art and the music really does bring people together. I, I start to understand this uh, almost cliche thing where it's like the art and music is this universal language. And you really don't understand that until you actually experience it. Like, so you're a part of the music or art, and then you see people react to it. So right now, back home in the States, I mean, people are, are losing their jobs at... And I don't think it's new, though, to that, that art and or music can bring people up or it can, it can bring them to life in a sense or get their mind off their troubles. I mean, in the Great Depression, we saw that, like, one of the, one of the industries that still survived was entertainment. I mean, people are still inspired. I mean, that, that, that won't go away. I think it's a great opportunity to be able to reach people with art that wouldn't necessarily uh, be into art. I don't think my art is meant for gallery. The, the painting standing alone in a gallery, if someone was walking by, I don't think they would get it. I think they would say, like, I don't get it. really brilliant, it's amazing. I've never seen anything like that before. You know, it's entertaining as well, watching him, because he's dancing as well, like to a rhythm. Can I teach you? Am I going to be here that long? I'm from the US. Is that yeah. God bless America! <laughs> start setting out on something like wanting to become a professional painter, which is crazy if you tell anyone that, you are already alone. Because if you tell anyone like you want to set out on a journey like that, the first thing people tell you is stop. Go get a real job. Painters, never. you have like a one in a million chance of doing anything with it.